Grit Camp is a youth trade experience for kids ages, say, 12 to 17 to experience the trades, to learn safety, measurements, carpentry, plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. So it's a really cool uh, experience for these kids to just get exposed to the trades and learn what these things are. So grit is growth and resilience in the trades, and there's lots of things grit's going to be a part of. We're starting out with introducing younger people to the trades, introducing them to skills and a possible way of life. We know that now college is being pushed on people younger and younger, and we just want people to realize there's another path. So whether working with these mentors, they get to see that, hey, this is something that's interesting and fun. There's still math involved. There's still thought process and things you have to do and skill involved and they're working with a mentor that does this for a living. And whether it's somebody that later in life they decide, hey, they wanna do this as a full-time career, or if it's somebody that wants to work their way through the trades while they're going to college, or maybe it's just simply having these skills to be able to fix stuff around the house, we find that it's overall a positive experience for everybody. And what's really cool about this is the students get these experiences. They're not just asked to replicate what the mentors are doing, the mentors are questioning them as they're going through this experience and following their blueprint. So it's almost like an adventure for these kids. And so they really had an awesome time. And so let's hear from some of the students what they had to say. Well, my name's Espen and I'm from Cape May down the road. So what was your favorite part of Grit Camp and why? Uh, well, so far it's probably been building the box uh, especially with cutting the copper and brazing, because uh, I've never done that stuff before. I've wood worked my whole life, but I've never brazed and worked with metal before, so it was interesting. I'm Lena, and I'm from Cape May. Uh, what activity here at Grit Camp stood out the most to you? Um, definitely working with the piping and the brazing, just because it's something new that I haven't done before, and it was easy and fun. Hi, I'm Kirsten from Cape May. Um, I just like seeing how you can like make two pieces of metal like stay together using metal. It's like cool to see how like you can like transform metal like that. Hey, I'm Seth Negliaccio from Cape May Courthouse, New Jersey. H have you done uh, brazing before? Or? I've done it a few times before, um, but it was really fun today. Like once we we're done our project to kind of go off and like kind of build our own like flanges and different stuff like that. The trades are definitely something I would want to get into as a job uh, later on in life. Yay! <laughs> That's good. Hello everyone, my name is Oliver White um, and I love Grit Camp. What do you love about the trades? Have you been exposed to the trades before today? I've done some of like the saw work, um, but I've never done, I've never worked with metal before, so it was a very a big first time experience for me and I really loved it. And if you could describe today using one word, what would that word be? Fun. Yeah. Super educational. Exciting. Awesome. New. Fun. Amazing. So seeing the kids get excited about the trades is absolutely incredible. But for me, it was also just as incredible seeing the mentors excited. Seeing them get excited about this, seeing them get excited about how to transform this information to somebody else was absolutely incredible. And so not only was it amazing for the, for the kids, it was also awesome for the mentors. And so the mentors expressed that they learned a lot. They, they got to think about how to transfer these skills to people. And so they have the teacher's heart, right? And so they loved investing in these kids. And so that's what life's about, is investing in other people. So let's hear from some of the mentors what they had to say. Hey, I'm uh, Scott Hernandez. I'm from uh, K May Courthouse, Middle Township, New Jersey. Uh, my company's uh, Scotty's Heating and Cooling and Refrigeration. And uh, I'm just uh, delighted to be here, part of the GRIT uh, program. So in what ways do you think GRIT camps can help shape future leaders? It definitely helps, especially for somebody like me who grew up in the trades and didn't have, uh, not that, that I didn't have great mentors, but didn't have the, the expertise or anything like this, any type of grit program where you have, you know, the time to make the mistakes and nothing's ever a big deal, you know, no, stuff like that. So I think it, it's, it's, it's a great thing for kids to learn and not be under any type of pressure. Hey, I'm Greg Kula. I'm with Jones Services, part of Sela Services. Uh, we're from New York, and we're here at the GRIT, um, the second one for GRIT, the second event, and it's awesome. I think today's been really cool, a little bit chilly, 
but it's been amazing because seeing all the kids just light up as soon as they start seeing their projects light up or they see their wood come together. It's been cool. What um, module or activity do you think made the biggest impact on the students? I think the fire. Yes. They love the torches. <laughs> they love using fire, burning stuff, melting stuff. They loved it. Hi, my name is Danny Malzette. I am from Jones Services in Goshen, New York. In what ways do you think Grit Camp helped shape future leaders? Um, I think to see the kids actually interact and to work with their hands, learn some of the stuff in all of the trades, because that's really what we covered today, the plumbing, some electric, some carpentry. Um, it's definitely going to help them in the future. What advice would you give to a future mentor preparing for their first camp? Um, first mentor, even if you're nervous, do it. Hi, I'm John Anderson. I'm from Chesapeake City, Maryland. Um, in what ways do you think grid camps help shape future leaders? So getting being for kids to be able to actually use their hands and do stuff with their hands is is amazing. Like today we're so used to just having a, a screen in front of us or uh, you know just that instant gratification of you know I order something from you know the online retailer and it shows up to my door like the next day uh, to, to actually use your hands and have to build something and wait for it to develop is is something that you you can't mimic like you have to do something like this in order to, to experience that what does being a grit mentor mean to you personally so for me personally I I do have the heart of a teacher. I really love to teach. Like it's it's something I love to do to be able to to help other people grow. Uh, so to be able to come here and do that for young kids as they're growing up, and these kids are the same age as my own. Uh, I've got three that are well within the same age as all these. So I, I was able to to associate with them and understand what they were feeling, how they were acting. So being able to to work with these kids was really fun just to see them grow and and one of my favorite parts about being an instructor is seeing the light bulb moments whenever they realize oh that's what that means and that's that's what does it all for me hi i'm kenneth hounds and i'm from north kma and i work at salt together in what ways do you think great camp helps shape future skilled trades people i think it starts really young which is really good and it kind of builds them up so they have time if they don't want to do it later on that they don't have to but they still ha have the skills developed to where they can go into a trade. What advice would you give to a future mentor preparing for their first camp? Um, I'd say just have a little patience but be relaxed and have fun while you're with the kids obviously and um, yeah just be really relaxed and you know have that patience with them because everybody's not at the same level as you and they're still young. So you can see it's a great experience for the mentors. If you want to learn how to get into being a mentor, go visit the Grit Foundation. We're putting together a course to help people get prepared for this so that as we have these events across the country, you can find one near you and help support these kids and help support the future of our trades. And if you're a manufacturer of HVAC tools, you can get involved by donating to the Grit Foundation in order to have your tools be used by students it's a really cool thing for them to just be able to learn all those tactile movements like that. How to use tubing cutters is a big deal for a kid. You know, how to use a wrench, it's, it's a huge deal. So if you wanna get involved, make sure to check out the Grit Foundation. And also contractors, if you have a place, a facility that can host one of these grit camps, it's a lot of work, but I guarantee you it's worth it to be able to bring these people in, to be able to put these experiences in front of people so that that way they're investing in the future of our trades. So if you're interested in hosting one of the GRIT camps, go to the GRIT website and see how you can get involved. It's a really rewarding experience to be a part of one of these GRIT camps. And if you want to learn more about the GRIT Foundation, we have links down in the description section below. And thanks so much to HVAC School and Ty Brademan for uh, all the efforts and, and just all of the, the desire to want to invest in these kids.